Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching VATV. VATV is the voice of Vietnamese American in Crete Bottom area. It is sponsored by VA Vietnamese American Initiative for Development. You can watch us live every Wednesday evening from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. on BNN Boston Neighborhood Network on Channel 9 if you have Comcast and on Channel 15 if you have RCN. You can also go to bnntv.org to watch us live. Our show will be broadcast on Sunday at 5 p.m., on Monday at 1 p.m., on Tuesday at 11 a.m. To watch us any time, you can go to our website, vita.org. Today, we have special guests to talk about an interest festival coming in Dorchester. Mm -hmm. Thank uh, you for coming yeah. and welcome, Miss I'm Abby. I'm Abby Wanamaker. Yeah, thanks for having me. And can you talk, introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, I'm um, Abby Wanamaker, and I'm on the board of the Friends of Ronan Park. Um, I've lived in Dorchester for about seven years now. I'm a parent and a teacher. I'm also an artist, and I'm very um, involved in the community in Dorchester. And um, the Friends of Ronan Park is having a festival on June 28th from 10 to 1. It's called the Kite and Art Festival. And we've done some version of the Kite Festival. But this, will, this time we're incorporating art a little bit. And uh, you said you are an artist? And I think you had a website too. Can you talk about your history, a little bit about your art? Um, well, I would love to talk more about that, but I don't. I'd also want to make sure I, um, I want to make sure I promote our festival too, because I'm going to be doing some art there. So I'm at abbywanamaker.com, and um, I um, have a a group uh, an initiative of, called Pop Up Art, and where I bring art to. Um, different public events and different spaces in Dorchester. And I've been very um, fortunate to be also involved in the Friends of Vernon Park and um, combining my, my interests and efforts with something that they've already established, the Kite Festival, and they're, I'm able to pair with one of their other members, Jeff, um, to provide some act, um, children's activities at the festival. Um, so I'm excited about that. Okay. Yeah. Now, go back to the festival. Is this the first time you uh, involved in the festival? This is the first time I've been involved with, with helping organize it. I've um, done, in 2012, I actually was there with another organization doing some tabling. So I was um, involved with the Dorchester Community Food Co-op, and I was there tabling. So um, it's a way that um, local organizations can come and show you know, meet the community and show what they do in the community. Um, so this is the first time I've done art. The kite part of it, they've been doing for a long time. That's um, the Seaside Kites is the, the um, company that they give us some free kites that we can hand out 25 free kites in the, for the first 25 Better people. Enough. Yeah, and after that they'll have available for sale. Um, but this is the first time I've had art as like an art activities that were more organized or more like put on by a teacher. That's what I do. Okay. So. I think you on the uh, you member on the board of the Friend of Ronald Park. Yep. Yep. Could you talk about the why? What the the organization yeah. is about? Well, they started in 2001, mm -hmm. and their goal was to um, promote promote the park is for positive and constructive use. Um, under the premise that um, a park had the distinct ability to rejuvenate and um, a community, and that um, that it, the role of this group was to nurture and protect the park. 
and they've done a lot of work with um, city organizations and um, the Parks and Rec Department to build the playground. They have a water, um, sorry, a water feature that just went in last year through um, some of the work of other members of this group. And they also um, put in a dog recreation area. So a lot of, um, and also making sure that there are events being held on a regular basis to get families and people out in the park and use it in a positive way. So something else that we do, um, we have you know, spring cleanup and then we also have movie nights and barbecue, you know, pop, um, sorry, um, cookouts. And then this festival, we've had family festivals in the past. So um, a lot of just sort of low key events to get people out in the park. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. Yeah, that's the uh, park, Ronan Park. You introduced the Ronan Park to the, our audience. Uh, you mentioned that there are a lot of activity over there. Mm -hmm. And how come some Dorchester residents don't know the much about that activity? Yeah, I don't know. You know, um, well we're you know, we're a nonprofit organization, so we, we exist solely on donations. So what we can do is by the size of our board, which is pretty small, you know, and how much we can outreach in the community. So we're all volunteers. There's no one who's paid for what we do. So, you know, we, we keep spreading the word and trying to get more people involved. Um, and I, I'm always sort of surprised that people don't know where Ronin Park is because I live right there. But yeah. it, um, it's definitely, it's right, um, it's right on the hill. Have you ever been? Have you seen it? Yeah. I yeah. Yeah. And so I believe that uh, with a yeah. we have an uh, annual meeting yeah. one year at the mm -hmm. Ronan Park. Yeah. I know there. Yeah. I was there before. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. And uh, you say that is the organization. How can I become? Anyone can become a member, member? Um, and anyone can come to our meetings. We meet um, once a month, and our next meeting is on Tuesday, July 1st at 6.30 at the Bowdoin Health Center. Yeah. And you are all, you know, like I said, we're a um, nonprofit um, 501c3, which, and um, we exist on donations alone, and we can be found, or a donation can be made at friendsofroninpark.org. Um, but anyone is welcome to come and participate. They don't have to be on the board, but they can come. We're a pretty informal group, and we're very welcoming of ideas and new initiatives. I look at the website, and I saw that uh, you had the dog recreation mm -hmm. space, mm -hmm. and they had a membership too. What is what is it all about? What's the dog recreation yeah. space? Um, that is a, uh, a designated space for, for dogs to come and have a safe place to run, you know, let, let the dogs off the leash. And also they have, um, you know, specialized, like, floor for dogs to, um, I guess that we're digging. I don't have a dog, so, like, this is all, like, I see it, I'm out there with my daughter. But I know that, I mean, I see it from up on the hill, and they also have a shade space, there's water, and then there's tools for people to clean up the space. So it's, like, it's a very um, well-built and designated space for dogs because, you know, safely you want dogs not roaming around the park. They should have a place to go. So Can I say that it's safe haven for the dog? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and people. <laughs> and people too. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now, <clears throat> back to the uh, festival. It will happen on Saturday, Saturday June 28th. Saturday, June 28th. 10 to 1. From 10 to 1. Mm -hmm. and it's a free event. Free, Anyone free can come. Event. Mm -hmm. Everyone can come. Yep. A free food and free mm -hmm. drink? Yep, yeah, free food okay. and drink. Free and and drink. we're going to have a, um, some organizations there, including the Dorchester Community Food Cop, the Fields Corner Main Street is going to be there. Um, there's a, an, um, a um, company, Modern Dog, that are on their dog walking, dog grooming. Um, they're going to do some stuff about how to feeding your dog. And um, we're also going to have um, Boat and Bike School, their um, a local bike fixing organization. So trying to give um, some groups a place to be able to share what they're doing in the in um, the community. And I'll be there with pop-up art and I'll have um, different activities for children. We're also hoping to have the Bowdoin Health Center. They have some um, fitness kits for children to play games and 
um, you know, be active. So that's another thing we're expecting. So it should be a nice, it's, it's a small, it's not, not the Franklin Park, but it's a small, nice neighborhood event. So. Uh, now we want to ask the um, studio give us some, introduce some picture oh, from okay. the past. Yep. What we do. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's the kind. Yeah, One year, camera. 2012, they had a bike element to it, so there were a little more. The bike cyclist, the Boston Cyclist Union was there. Oh, yeah. What is the. There's a kite. There's a kite? It's, always, it's always breezy up there. People keep saying, oh, I hope you have a good wind, but it's always breezy up in Ryan Park. <laughs> is it Brunnen Park on the. Uh, on a little on the hills. Oh yeah, on yeah. And if you, you um, you're when on one side, so you have Robinson Street and Mount Ida Martin. and Adams Street. Yeah. And when you're on, there's two hills. The lower hill, you look out right over the bay, and you've got the sea. I mean, it's beautiful. You can see the ocean, the train. You know, they've got the windmill in the background. Mm -hmm. So. Actually, I'm in that picture too, but I'm in one of them. This was, we had another group. I was doing the co-op table, and there was a gentleman who was, um, he was doing worm composting. He was getting some people involved in that, which is cool. And there's actually our presidents in that picture too. <laughs> and those, that was, um, there were some bubbles, and there's the tents where different organizations. I'm actually right in the middle with my daughter <laughs> <laughs> when she was one year old that year. So she's three, so she'll be able to do some of the activities this year. And there's this, I think that's the cyclist union, but you can see all the, oh, and there. We have, um, what's nice at our um, monthly meetings, someone from the um, C11, always comes okay. to give us a report and have um, interaction in that way. Okay. Uh, can you ask the uh, our audience, invite our audience about the festival? You can summarize it. Sure, now. sure. Um, uh, we would love to have you at June 28th at um, the Ronin Park for the Kite and Art Festival from 10 to 1. Um, come, get free kites if you're early. Um, bring children, bring f um, family, and we'll have food. We'll have um, physical activities, art activities, and get to meet some organizations in your neighborhood and meet some neighbors and use the park in a positive way. Um, and we hope to see you on June 28th. Um. Thank you, Mr. Abi Wanmaker. Once again, we thank you for watching VATV. Any question, comment, or contribution, please call us at 617-822-3717 or email us at vatv.org. We hope you had a wonderful week and goodbye.